Hole 13 is 133 yard, par three. I'd show you a sign, but like the other hole there, it isn't a sign. The green's protected by a bunker in the front and a bunker on the right. And boom, just like that, we are on part three of three of I Play Bad Golf at the Worst Golf Course. I appreciate you sticking with me. This has been quite an adventure. I regret none of it. And uh, if you're subscribed, man, really love it. Thank you so much. If you're not subscribed, really, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, it's free. If you're not logged into YouTube, go create an account. Um, maybe I'll put a little clip here of how to do that. It shouldn't be too hard. But uh, it really helps out the channel. It helps us grow. It helps uh, us realize that what we're doing is worthwhile. Uh, although I love doing it, regardless. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. So, again, I appreciate you sticking with me on this. And, uh, you know, here comes the rest of the holes. Again, if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when new videos are out. And if you want to know when new videos are coming out before they're out, follow Greg Corpman Golf on Instagram and follow Greg Corpman Golf on the Twitter. All right? Thanks. Next level. bunker to the right. I think I hit it pretty good, just pushed it out right. Oh, and a, uh, like a maybe a survey crew came by or something. It looked like they're wearing, you know, brightly colored vests, like a construction crew or something that came by, and one of them had a lighter. So, I'm a little happier now. <laughs> well, I guess with every green protected by bunkers, I was bound to hit one eventually. So, I'm here. I don't have a lot of green to work with. I gotta get up and go with my 56. Cue the music. Bunker shots I've hit in a while. There's even a rake over there. So that, oddly enough for me, came out pretty much like I planned it. Buried my feet in there real good. Got a nice stance. Opened that club face and just whacked at it. Get behind the ball. Some sand with it. I don't think it's gonna be a world class sand splash because there wasn't enough sand moving, but. Slow mo and cheer. Now, can I make a butt par? Ah! Uh, I did hit that harder than I thought I needed to, which is what I've been needing to do to get him through the hole. And it hit the back of the hole. So that was actually a little harder than I actually needed to hit it. But I hit it with a thought there and went in the hole. So. That's my second par today. And a sanding down. Number 14, 435 yard par four. Look at this moss growing on the side. That's actually kind of cool. There's danger left on this hole. I mean, just trees and high grass and stuff like that. Sure enough, I pulled it, but it made it through every tree landing in the fairway, so we're good. I got a 203 to center, 187 to front. For once, the, uh, the green is not protected by bunkers. So, you won't pour it. Yeah. Chunk that much. I got 101 to front, 116 to center. Uh, 
popping up was the right choice. I think I'm just on the right side of the green. Bogey. I didn't really take much time reading the brake. I'm kind of giving up on these putts breaking. But that one did break to the right a little bit. I thought it was going to break to the left a little bit. Either way, I didn't get it there. So if I would have had it, uh, if I would have hit it hard enough, what's it going in? All right, y'all, we got a real golf hole here. 497 yards, par five. There's water on the left up there. I'm not sure if I would have been able to reach it or not. But I was hoping to get past that tree before it faded. It didn't. I actually pushed it a little bit and it faded into the tree. So looks kind of thick over there. I hope I can find my ball. I found my ball. The problem is the pin is right there. There's water there. I could knock it out in the fairway there, but I'd have to definitely play a punch to keep it under all this stuff. But there's nothing preventing me from playing it right here. So I'm going to punch it out that way. That worked out fine. I'm in good position after that shot. I got 148 to center, 131 to front, flags in front. Do not want to go over. Water behind it, there's a bunker, short and right. So, short and left, you okay? Pretty well shot, not even so Dang. <sighs> Mm. That was tight. So, I mean, I kind of hate to speak too early, but yeah, it seems like a tail of two nines. Just choked on the front nine. Not doing bad on the back. For me. That was tight. I got a real shot at it. my third par today. Hole in the golf course. Hole number 16 is a 462 yard par 5. Um, this is actually handicap number 2 on the card. The previous hole, I was wondering what it was, it's a 4, it's a number 4. This one we got water left and houses right, so I'm going to go less than drive. Oh, that's not bad. Not Three wood was the play there. Remember that one club too many theory? Yeah, I went over. Remember the thing about the trees? Seventeen to the three hundred and twelve yard par four. Doesn't look like there's anything to it. Is that a fairway bunker on the left? And then uh, the green's protected by a bunker on the front right again. Boy, I pulled that one, didn't I? It did get through the tree there. Okay. 
find it. Might be in some long grass, but I don't think there's anything else over there. Yeah, 153 to center. Uh, there's a bunker in front, bunker to the right. 139 front, 166 back, clubbing up an extra club because of the rough. Not because I need to club up an extra club on every freaking hole because that wasn't the right play last time. The distance ended up left the green. Okay. On the green in three. Not in the bunker. I mean, I thought I hit it way. Golly. That was just a bad putt. Double. My first double on the back? I think that's my first double on the back. And three pars and otherwise bogeys? I don't know. I could look at Arcos and see. I haven't been checking in to make getting every shot, so I can't be 100 percent sure. And we'll figure it out later. Alright, so standing on the green at number 17, having played 17 holes here. I like this place. I like this golf course. I do. Uh, the golf now deal was 22 bucks. So after fees and taxes, it came out to 30. Um, I don't have the VIP anymore, so you could save some money on that. As far as a value, 22 bucks, yeah. And the weather's been bad. It was expected to rain off and on all day. And I took a chance and it's been fine. Sprinkled on earlier, it was raining pretty hard when I got here. Ah. We got the train coming. Remember the tracks I had to cross between 8 and 9? Well, I got to cross them between 17 and 18. What's his watch? <laughs> that was a short train. So, the things they said on the reviews, for the most part, are true. The fairways need to be cut. The greens need a lot of work. The tee boxes need a lot of work. They need to take care of the trees that have been knocked down. There's a couple of trees that overhang the, the cart path too low. The cart paths themselves are in good shape. I'm not much for rating a golf course on a cart path. The cart paths are in good shape, with the exception of one spot where a tree had fallen over and its roots were pulling up the cart path. So 18, 398 yard par four. Let's do it. Hope I get a good tee shot here. That was not the tee shot I wanted. I wanted to end with a good tee shot. Now I guess we'll go drive off the deck. It looks like something got a birdie here. It wasn't me, no birdies for me today. The plan is to hit it left of that palm tree and have it fade back into the stairwell. Dry rough the back. That. I haven't lost a ball today. Yeah, one of the downsides of playing by yourself is you don't have another set of eyes to watch your balls. So I didn't know where that one went. Felt good. Sorry. It was good. So I got 100 yards. 96 to slide you by. Back in June is going to be. Stalled it, went over. A moment, appreciate that view though, right? Is that thumbnail? Let's see if I got a thumbnail. Found my ball. Well, John Daly says amateurs leave it short, right? <laughs> they leave it short. So they do have a bit of a practice area here. That's pretty cool. A nice place to just come and chip some balls, huh?
I did get out of that with a double bogey. Those two first shots, that bad tee shot and that bad um, driver off the deck, recovered with a good three wood. Then went over, pitching wedge, which shouldn't have. Chipped on, but long, two putts. It's a long putt, especially for this place, so I gave it a whack. So, overall, the back nine, I didn't do too bad on for me. I don't think I had any triple bogeys in the back. I certainly played the back better than the front. Had a couple of pars, which felt good. But yeah, this place, I'd play it again. I'm not saying I will play it again, but I'm not saying don't play it. There's reviews on there saying do not play it. If you're looking for a, if you're looking for a PGA caliber course, this is not it. But if you want a fun place, cheap, this is it. So, thanks for watching if you made it this far. Um, even if you didn't make it this far, thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what's wrong with you? Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you got when you'll know when I got new videos out. And follow Greg Corbin Golf on Instagram. Follow Greg Corbin Golf on the Twitter. So, until next time, take it easy.